Hello again, peeps! Have you ever browsed Instagram and noticed these apps that turn your computer screen into a clock? Have you ever met with frustration because you could not find out what the app was called? Well, I certainly have. And today I have decided to give something back to the community. The generous God. I will share these apps with you today because everybody, and I mean everybody, deserves to dress up their computer like a study grammar. This video is divided into three sections. I will be talking about browser extensions, screen savers, and I will also be talking about something a little extra. Everything discussed here today will be linked in the description box below, so do not worry, you can find it there later. That's a YouTube sentence if I ever heard one. Anyway, let's start with the extensions. So first up is Momentum, probably one of the most popular apps out there. You can get it for Chrome, Firefox and Edge. Wait, Edge 2? Yes, you heard correctly, Edge 2. Crazy, I know. If you're still using Microsoft Edge, then you need to reconsider your life choices. There's nothing else I can say to that. So, welcome to Momentum, this is what it looks like. Beautiful, isn't it? First off, there are a couple of things you can do. You can make it call you by your name. You can write down your focus for the day. You can write down a to-do list. You can add quick links that you can access directly from Momentum. You can also search using the Google search bar. And you can customize pretty much everything. Whether that's the visibility of quotes, mantras, or links. There are also some premium features that you can access if you buy a subscription. This subscription is $3.33 a month if built yearly and $4.95 if built monthly. And for the purpose of this video, I have decided to spend my four hard-earned dollars just to show you what the premium version looks like. Because this is how much I care about my nine subscribers. Love you. So, what are some of the premium features you might be asking? Well, the first one is a Pomodoro timer. If you don't know what that is, it is a productivity technique where you work for 25 minutes, then take a 5 minute break, repeat this 3 more times and then take a long break. You could easily just download an app for this or use the timer on your phone. But if you just want to have it here on Momentum, that's perfectly fine too. Some other extra features include using a countdown for some important deadlines, adding metrics such as drinking water. Here you can also connect external metrics like Fitbit. I am not a healthy person, so I don't have a Fitbit, but the option is there. You can also add some world clocks and check the weather. You can also write down little notes. Customize the theme to either have it light or of a color that you prefer. And you can also customize the font if you want something a little extra. Another special feature is the ability to add your own pictures to the background. Beautiful. And the last special feature you get with this premium version is the ability to change photos pretty much anytime you want. So you might be asking, are the extra features worth the price? For me personally, not so much. But if you're someone who likes to have a lot of things in one place, then maybe consider it. One last thing to mention is that every time you want to enter full screen here, you need to go through your browser settings because there is no other way to access it otherwise. It can be quite annoying, but if you're not taking Instagram pictures of it all the time, then it should be fine. Next up, we have Tablist. This one you can only get for Firefox and Chrome. No edge. Somebody was using their head. Something that I find quite cool about Tablist is the literature clock. Now you might be thinking, what is a literature clock? Well, they are basically quotes from books that have the time in them. I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just gonna show you. This is what it looks like. Pretty neat, huh? There is also an option to make the clock analog, if that's the sort of look you're into. You can also change the time format from 12 hour to 24 hour and you can choose to display the seconds, the date, etc. Just like in Momentum, you can also use a search box, write your focus down for the day, except that here it's called a message. And you can change the position of the widgets. 
So if for example you want the search bar at the top and the weather at the bottom, you can easily do that. You can also customize how often you want the photo to change, so it can be every new tap, every 5 minutes, every 15 minutes, or you can even pause it if you really like it and you can just stare at it forever. One thing that Tablist does have that Momentum doesn't is this cheeky 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 little arrow up here that makes accessing full screen really really easy. Meaning that you don't have to go through your browser settings every time you want to put it in full screen, which I think is pretty neat. Now it's time to introduce you to Embark. This extension is only available on Chrome and it is very, very minimalist. There is a way to customize a couple of things, but you need to go through the Chrome extension settings to get there. But here you can see that you can customize how often you want the picture to change, what time format you want, whether you want to see the date, etc. So that concludes our browser extensions and now let's look at screensavers. The first one we will talk about here is the Padbury Clock. Now, on the official website, it says that you can only download it for Mac, but I also found a website where you can download it for Windows. So, Windows people, let me know if it works, because I have no idea. As you may have already deduced, you need to actually download and install these as a screensaver. One neat thing that you can do on a Mac is set up a hot corner so that you can activate the screensaver every time you hover over a certain corner. For me it's the top left and I just thought I would share it with you because I didn't know you could do this and when I found out I was absolutely hecking bamboozled. So here I just hover over the top left corner and magically the screensaver appears. Amazing. This bad boy you can also customize depending on what theme you want, what time format you want, whether you want to see the time separators. And you can also enable a nighttime mode, which looks like this. This screensaver is super minimalist and I just love it. So the second app slash screensaver is Flicklo, which you must have seen at some point because I think it is literally the most popular clock app out there. This one you can definitely download for both macOS and Windows and if you pay a little extra, 99 cents, you can also get this as an app for your iPhone or iPad. This is however only for iOS devices for now. You can download apps that look similar to Flicklo on Google Play, but obviously they're not gonna be the official Flicklo app. The customizable features are pretty much more of the same, except that here you can decide on the scale of the clock, so how big you want it to be. You can also adjust the brightness, and you can also enable or disable the background right here. Can you see it? Here you go. And next step we have something a little extra. So these are just wallpapers that you can download from the Every Girl website. They put up new websites every single month, so you can change it every month if you want a fresher look for your computer. You can choose between a Sunday start and a Monday start for those that come with a calendar, and you can also download these for your phone or tablet. The way of setting these up is pretty standard, you just open the picture up, save it, and then you set it as your background. Alrighty you guys, let me know which app, extension, whatever you like the most, which one you're gonna download and just cherish it so much because now you finally know what it is called. I want to say a big thank you to all the Instagrammers. Instagrammers? Study grammars. I don't know, I'm too old for this shit. Basically a big thank you to all the beautiful souls who allowed me to use their pictures in this video. I could not have done it without you. I'm gonna link all of these peeps accounts in the description box below if you wanna go check them out and show them some love, which I do think you should. And I'll see you here next time for the next video, which will be a bullet journal July plan with me. Exciting. See ya.